stream order is a numbering system that is highly dependent upon the scale of the map that you're using to do the analysis. The stream ordering system is used to distinguish between streams that are considered to be very small and tributaries to larger streams and larger streams. However, just because a stream order is large doesn't mean necessarily that the stream is large itself. The stream ordering system starts with first order streams. First order streams are the smallest streams that might appear on a map. When two first order streams join, they form a second order stream. Second order streams are considered to be larger than either of the fir two first order streams because both first order streams contribute to the second order stream. A higher order stream is formed when two streams of the same order join together. So for example, when we have two first order streams joining together, we create a second order stream. If, however, we have two of a first order and a second order stream joining together, we do not create a third order stream. That can only be created when we have a second order stream and a second order stream as tributaries together to a third order stream. When two second order streams join together, they form a third order stream. When two third order streams join together, they form a fourth order stream. Stream networks form as a result of both geologic factors and climatic factors. Though we often talk about the dendritic stream morphology, the kind that drains from mountains and mountains into valleys. Uh, there are many other kinds of classifications of stream drainage systems that people have used in part to identify the kinds of geologic processes that led to them. Remembering that water runs downhill, think about the types of topography in which each of these types of drainage systems could be found. The eight types of drainage systems represented in this slide are not all commonly found, but they do represent different kinds of geologic processes. And the author that wrote the paper that's quoted in the Stream Restoration Handbook that contributed this diagram developed this classification system to illustrate how different kinds of geologic processes are reflected in the drainage systems on landscapes.